Hello friends. Today I want to share my experience about learning abacus with you. And I will also show you how it can how I use abacus. So, today we're going to learn how to find out the ones wrong and we'll learn how to f make our finger positions and we'll get used to our abacus. So, First things first, I, let me do a little introduction about myself. I am Shreja and I live in Chicago in USA. I am nine years old and I just finished third grade and I am enjoying my summer vacation. So whenever we go out for dining, my dad usually asks me to add up the total cost of the bill. And I could do that in my head when there's no device around because the abacus is what's helping me. Soon I get experts in my abacus and I don't need this tool, but at first we will need it. But if you're expert, we don't need it and we could do it in our head fast. It will help you in any dining hall or maybe when you go shopping or in your quizzes or tests. You might not get a calculator or any device, but you could do abacus in your head. So let's get started with learning. Now, I understand it might be hard, and that's okay, since we'll overcome the difficulties together. Okay, so we will first learn how to position our fingers, okay? So now, pretend your abacus is really jumbled up. And to, there's a solution to this problem, a very quick one. Let's take our thumb and our index finger. Put it like this, do like this. Okay? Then place it across, across this horizontal bar right here. Right here. Okay? Place it like this. And then slide it slow but steady all the way, all the way, all the way across. Perfect. This is a fast way to clear out your abacus. Now, let's try positioning our hands. Take our thumbs and our middle fingers and place it at the side of the abacus. And remember to use your left hand like this like this and this hand while the right hand is going to add up numerals so we are just gonna place it on a flat surface and play around with numbers and we'll soon learn what those numbers represent like that have fun while playing around with this next we we'll learn how to figure out the units rod. That is a very important concept. So, we will have to figure out the units rod and to do so, we need to remember, I think. The units rod is always on the third dot. That is here. This is the units rod. The units rod. It's a very important rod. Without this, you cannot do any summation, subtraction, and etc. Okay, so remember to hold it, remember to clear, and remember the units. Another thing I want to show you about the abacus is a pattern like this. Watch carefully. One dot, two rod skip. One dot, two rod skip. One dot, two rod skip. One dot, two dot skip, and then one dot. If the abacus was bigger, it would be two dot skip, and it'll carry on. So, now, let's do something with the units rod. So, just like I said, you can add around numerals. But, can we do summation, subtraction, or anything like that with only one rod? No. So, let's learn some other rods. One's rod. Tens rod, hundreds rod, thousands rod. But when we get started, our most, most, most important thing is the ones rod. 
the wands rod. Okay, just like I said, this is the wands rod. Tens, hundreds, thousands. Repeat after me, please. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Okay, please keep practicing whatever you learn. And please stay in touch with your comments because next class is an interesting thing. We'll learn how to do summation on little digits like one digit or so. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and please watch my other videos. Thank you.